Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I am Sarah Wiseman. You are listening to Spiritual Psychic. Let's just close our eyes and connect in now. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. And in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Stepping into the circle, stepping into the circle. So a couple years ago, it's getting to be a lot of years now, actually, but I went to this training session. It was NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. And I got to <laughs> tell you, I'm really happy to know about NLP. And the reason why is because I never want to use it. Uh, NLP is a way a lot of speakers, a lot of speakers use NLP as, I, I would guess you, you might, okay, this, this may not be what NLP calls it, but I'm going to call it how I see it. And I see it as sort of a hyp, hyp, hypnosis technique. It entrains the mind through direct command, right? And uh, so to me, I was very glad I went to the workshop because it showed me what it was, showed me how to use it. And that meant I could make sure, (laughs) I could make sure that I wasn't using it. It just feels, you know, I I, want to be, for this, for you guys, I want to be just clear what comes through, arrives. You can take it or not take it. There's no, uh, there's no forcing. There's no forcing. You're free to have your own opinions. Uh, You're free to free to your soul your soul knows its path this is useful to you great if not not gonna not gonna you know be like feeding liver to the the ducks destined to become foie gras <laughs> like we're, we're not doing that here anyway i went to this training session and a lot of great stuff there a lot of great stuff really enjoyed it very clarifying for me and um so one of the exercises we did sort of about empowerment, I think, as, and you might have done this, is that we, we worked on the idea of, of being outside of a circle. So here's you over here, and then you make this imaginary circle in the ground, and then you step into the circle. And the idea was that you're considering um, a possibility, and at the moment you're outside of the possibility. And... And then with full intention and commitment, you can step into the circle. You can step into this, this way of being or this potentiality or this, this expression of yourself. And, and you know, like, it seems really simple. It, it reminded me kind of of, as a kid, you play hopscotch and you've got those squares of chalk and drawn on the ground and you hop. You throw your little marker and you hop, avoiding the, the square that the marker's on. And, and so I thought, well, this is kind of silly, but, you know, I like this workshop and I'm going to be wholeheartedly in it, experiencing it. And so um, what happened was not simple. What happened was not simple. And uh, it was pretty astounding to be standing on the outside of a circle And then to step all into this particular, what I'm going to call, energetic container of possibility. Fully engaged within the circle. To step into the possibility or the way of being. No longer on the outside And, you know, in the, in the class, the co- a workshop, it was a circle could be anything, a goal, a plan, an experience and you wanted to have, you got to choose. But I, again, I'm calling it an energetic container. 
Because a circle is more than a circle. A circle is an energetic container. An energetic container can act as a portal. So what I found and what the other participants found is that when we stepped in, when we committed, when we moved from the place of being outside of a reality to being inside of a reality, there was a great emotional component. A lot of people cried, I cried, stepping into the possibility of what we really are. Stepping into this portal takes us to another place, this different layer or level of the universe that we can just be in if we want. This stepping in, one step, one commitment, one saying, this is what I am now. This is what I am. And noticing that as we stepped, our entire reality changed. And you know, this is how manifestation works, really. We're trying to manifest, or this is how raising our, elevating our consciousness works. We, we see where we'd like to go, and that is a universe of energy. It's an energetic container that's its own universe, and we just say, that's that's what I want to step into. That's the dimension I want to live in. And boom, we just step over, we commit, and we're there. You know, in the workshop, we were stepping in to feel like, what happened if you chose this? You're going to step in as if. That whole more businessy idea, like fake it till you make it, what happens then? But the idea in the workshop was over time, as if will become as, as now. Here's the thing. <laughs> there's no as if, like Yoda says, there's just no try. There's just, there's just do or be or whatever. I can't remember. There's no try. There's no as if. You're either here or you're there. And we can step in and let that happen. Interesting idea to think of a circle as all the universe of everything you want and dream about and everything you hope for. Just step into that reality. Step into that dimension. And of course, this is what we're doing as a planet, as a planet of human beings and as a planet of all the other things we recognize as sentient beings and as a planet that is filled with teeming with all aspects of conscious communicating energy. You know, we're all this particulate, right? Arranged in different, different little particulate clusters. We're all, all of the same. This is what happens. We're just choosing to step into different reality. Totally possible. Totally, totally doable. I just invite you to try it after you listen. Make a circle. Put all your hopes and dreams and expanded dreams. Not the, not the silly stuff like, I want a car. And it's like, yeah, well, don't bother with that. Put the big stuff in there. Car comes along with that. Or whatever method of transportation is going to be suitable. Expanded consciousness. Maybe it's not a car. Step in as if is simply as, as now. You are listening to Ask Sarah. Excuse me, you're listening to Spiritual Psychic. I'm Sarah Wiseman, and you will find me at sarahwiseman.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>